Virtual reality allows you to be transported to another world. In this case, we're going to transport you to this amazing place, which is Air Studios in London. I'm really excited about this. I've been following the news on this technology for a while, and I've, I've been a Sony artist for a long time, so I've been asking them for now a couple of years. I want to be in there, I want to do something, because it's. I'm so excited about uh, the idea of virtual reality, what it can do for music, the experience of uh, being in this virtual 3D world and enjoying music in a different, a different way. I just wanted to be a part of that, so I'm, I'm quite psyched. So each camera is shooting 3D and at 4K resolution, but they only form a small part of the, of the final image. So really, the amount of detail that we're capturing is quite phenomenal. In virtual reality, it's extremely important that the sound comes from exactly where you expect it to come from. So we're measuring all the positions of all microphones in this space so that later in the post-processing, we can put Josh about exactly where he will be standing. What we've got here is it's an ambisonic microphone and the idea of this is that it kind of captures the field of sound. So much in the same way that the camera's picking up sort of a, a 360 view of what's going on, this will pick up a 360 view in terms of the audio. When you get into the environment and you're listening back to it, you can move your head and it will translate into exactly as you would hear it if you were there. Once all the footage has been captured, that's when all the really difficult work begins. Unlike a conventional VR video, we wanted to include something that's called positional tracking. So with a standard 360 video, as you move from side to side and forwards and backwards, you can see you're not getting the sort of normal movements that you'd expect to see in the real world. With positional tracking, not only can you look around, but you can also move around. Even on a TV screen, you can see that that looks so much better. Adding movement to this experience sounds simple enough, but actually it was an enormous challenge. It's never really been done in this way before. We had to take each piece of footage, isolate all the elements out of it, deconstruct it, and then reconstruct it, but this time in computer graphics. But if we do everything correctly, it actually means you won't notice any of this complexity going on underneath. It will just look like a slice of reality, like a fantastic VR experience. It's amazing to see the guys in the studio and all the reflections. It's uh, very immersive. I was impressed not only with the video, but also with the sound when you turn your head and like, uh, it makes you really feel like you're there when you, when the sound is working really well. So I was very happy with that. Wow. 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 That's, that's really something. After a while, you really, you forget that this, it's, you're just yeah. not right there. You just kind of get. What's it like seeing yourself on well, virtual Well, you know how it is seeing yourself in the mirror? Well, now yeah, this is yeah. worse. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Because it's so realistic, I have to look at yeah, myself. Yeah. For the players.